welcome to In My Mug episode 2! I'm not doing that. 136. On Monday the 20th of May 2013, I am your host Steve Layton. And this week, we're all going on the funky bus. Toot toot! All aboard to population of full of In My Muggers. Uh, but before that, it's time for the news! And... Thank you very much for all the feedback about the new In My Mug website. We are continuing to work on it. We are continuing to improve on it. I know a few of you, a few, few, you, a few of you have had some browser issues. If you've come across that, drop me an email. I can give you some alternatives or I can uh, suggest trying another browser. Um, I know it works on Chrome. I know it works on IE. I know it works on Safari. I know it has a problem a little bit with Firefox, but yes, anyway. I am off to Australia this week for the World Barista Championships in Melbourne, which is very, very exciting, uh, very daunting, but very exciting. So next week's In My Mug will either be recorded here before I go, and I'm planning to record one now, or I record something there on, on the hoof. Um, but do cut me some slack, it's very difficult to edit these on a laptop, and they've got so complicated and difficult to do. It really does take a lot of processing power and my little Mac Air struggles with it sometimes. I know last time I was away I had real issues and I'm not back until the Tuesday. So if there's a delay, cut me some slack. I promise it will come. It will be worth it. Um, yeah, and I, if it's delayed, I'm super, super sorry. Um, and that was the news! So it's time for 20 seconds on and this week it's going to be on the small town of Yergachev. Okay, so we go. Yurkachev is a town in the central southern part of Ethiopia, located in the ghetto zone of the southern nations. The town itself has an elevation of around about 1900 metres above sea level, as is most of the coffee that's grown around there. Based on figures that I could only find in 2005, Yurkachev has a total of 21,000 population. 10,500 of them men, 10,500 who are women. That's pretty crazy for a town that is so important to the coffee industry. So, I wanted to picture this. 21,000 people live in Yergachev. And how many people in the coffee world have heard of Yergachev? Like, everybody. It's absolutely crazy when you think about it. Other interesting fact, 85% uh, of the people, their first language is Gedo, which is the, the main language of the region. Um, but there's lots of multilingual people uh, in Ethiopia. Kind of everywhere I went, lots of people spoke English. Um, particularly when I visited Yergachev, there were an awful lot of English speakers, which I kind of found, it was good for me, but found a, a, a little bit strange. So anyway, let's talk about the coffee. So the coffee is... Um, an Ethiopian Yergachev, funnily enough, that's why we've talked about Yergachev, but it's a naturally processed Yergachev. Now, I am going to warn you, if you are used to floral, light, tea-like, lemony, citrusy Yergachevs, this is not what you're going to get. This is a very funky coffee. Some people are going to translate that as delicious. Some people are going to translate that as fermented. It's a Marmite coffee. You either love it or you hate it. Um, I personally, like, I've been drinking nothing but this since it arrived this week. Uh, I love this coffee. But I know some of you may find it a little difficult. Kind of hang on in there with it. Keep giving it a go. Because lots of people get these floral bright coffees and don't like them because they like funky coffees. And I get lots of emails about that. But this way, I definitely know I get more coming this way. So it comes from the grown region of Yergatev, which has the most amazing plant stock. Um... As I said, it's in southern Ethiopia, towards the border of Kenya, um, and the nearest town is called Gedeb, um, which is south of the town of Yergachev. Um, it is a naturally processed, hand-picked, sun-dried, unraised Indian coffee beds uh, with an altitude of 1,800 to 2,000 metres. As I said to you, this region really has this 1,800 to 2,000 metres. That's fairly standard for, for, for Yergachev. Um, the other thing that's fairly standard for Yergachev is there are lots of coffee sold under the brand of Yergachev. Um, but there are many, many cup differences. You have to select them on the cup quality. So, so we were sent a heap of samples at the start of the, start of the season, which was around about two, three months ago. You start to see samples come through. This was one of the first ones. It was a grade one, 
which the grade is given by the ECX, Ethiopian Commodity Exchange, by their liquoring unit. And grade one is to highlight an extra special lot, a lot that scores above 90 points on the Q grading score, which is similar to the grading score I use, but I used a couple of excellence one. Um, the varietal is one I've never heard of before, and it's called Karami, and it's an indigenous varietal to Ethiopia. Now, Ethiopia has thousands, tens of thousands of varietals. It is the birthplace of coffee. This is where coffee came from. This is where coffee has mutated and developed, and you see all of these uh, very unusual uh, kind of varietals coming through. It's processed by a group called the Maplapo, M Macla Maplaco Group. Eh. Uh, and comes from 200 smallholders who brought their cherries to the factory uh, in Gadeb and uh, they processed it. Now this factory normally produces around about 10 containers, which is around about uh, 4,000 bags. This year that looks like it's only going to be about 460. I don't know why, I'm hoping to find out. I have emails out there trying to find out why that's so, whether that's just natural across Ethiopia or whatever. So the figures, the area is called Gadeb, the varietal is Karami, it's a naturally processed coffee, grown at an altitude of 1800 to 2000 meters. Uh, the factory stroke mill is owned by Maplaco and it comes from the region of Yergachev. So now it is time for me to go and do the super vague map bit. If you've seen an Ethiopian map bit before, you understand why. Africa is so difficult because this isn't one person that's grown, this is his 200 but we will get down into the town um, and hopefully you will still find it interesting to see where Yergachev is in relation to, the, to, to it and all the rest of it. So here we go, here comes the map bit. It's the map bit, no expense spent. It's the map bit. Away with you, Steve, floating around the world and let's go down to Has Been. And then we go up and we're gonna go down to Africa, which we like going to Africa. We should go here much more often. If we could find delicious coffees, I'm sure we would. So, number of coffee growing countries, 18 in total. A huge population, a huge surface area. And when you compare it to the UK surface area, it just gives you a tiny perspective of how big Africa really is. Um, I mean, it, it is just an immense continent, uh, immense potential, and potential that it's meeting as well. One of the few places in the world that has a growing and strong economies. But let's get down to Ethiopia, which is where we want to go. Now, if you see where the Ethiopia is on the map, um, that's around about where Addis Ababa is, the capital. Um, and we are to the south of there. To the north of there, you've got Harar. Um, but let's look at Ethiopia as a country. So its name, funnily enough, is Ethiopia. Has a population of nearly 85 million. A very, very large country, again, for the population. And uh, as I've already said, the capital is Addis Ababa. Um, uh, a, a crazy city to drive around. I have never driven anywhere quite as nasty as there. Dibouti there is the actual port that all of the coffee from Ethiopia goes through. It doesn't have its own port. That used to be part of Ethiopia. But um, somehow they lost their only port and access to sea. So this is the town of Yergachev. This has a population of about 22,000 um, people. And um, yeah, this is uh, a, a world-renowned place in, the, in specialty coffee. Just saw the town of Wok there as we went across. And that is the town of Gadebe. Now, if you just look in that Yergachev, Wok, Gadebe, you'll see that it's slightly darker green, even up to Kerbal Conga. That's the altitude. That is a little mountain range that runs through the tip, the southern tip of uh, uh, the Yergachev region. And that's it. It's a map bit. And now it is time to call upon our friend, Mr. Roland Glue, for his daft fact of the week. Roland's daft fact of the week. Ethiopia is the biggest African producer of Arabica coffee, but not coffee overall. This dubious honour falls to the Ivory Coasts and its huge Robusta production. Roland's daft fact of the week. He knows his stuff does our Roland. Nearly time for us to make delicious coffee, but before I do that, it's time for the Wheel of Death. Now, last week we had with sugar, and I very tardily, maybe on purpose because I didn't want to do it with last week's coffee, no, it wasn't on purpose, but I didn't do it, so I'm going to leave it on for a following week, and I'm going to do the Wheel of Death, where it goes, nobody knows, and nobody cares. 
Irish coffee. Oh my days. How are we going to do Irish coffee? Okay, Irish coffee it is. I'm going to whack you on pause uh, and I'll be... Oh, God, Irish coffee. I hate Irish coffee. Okay, I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I was going to go and... I haven't brought tasting delicious drinks. I was going to go and do Irish coffee. I have no whiskey. I have no cream. I have no time to go and fetch whiskey and cream. So I'm going to re-spin the wheel of death. It's the first time I've done this. I hope you forgive me. Uh, I kind of got a good excuse. I really have. Where it goes, nobody knows and I really care. Oh, espresso! Yes! Yes! I could go with espresso. That's good. So we're going to do espresso. We're going to talk about espresso. I'll be back with you in just a moment and I'm a happy boy. So I am back and I do feel guilty about the wheel of death, but not too guilty. Um, right, espresso first of all. Made for me by Dale today. Not Dale the cow from the map bit, but the real Dale, which was nice. Whoa, mama. Mm. Ooh, so I get lots of apricots. I actually start off with, at the front, I get lots of funk. So you get this big chunk of funk, but chunk of funk, that's gonna catch on. But then it suddenly goes into this like apricot and peaches and, and not normal peaches for me, it's definitely tinned peaches, which you don't expect from a natural. And it goes very kind of citrusy and like clean and light. And it's, it's just one heck of a confused espresso. It really, really, really is confused. Mm. But finished as well, which is lovely. So, time for milk. I really like that. I really like it because I taste all the things I taste in the espresso, I'm tasting with milk. Instead of milk masking it, I think that's a great milk. Actually, no, stop it. It's a great coffee. That's why it's great. Not because it's great in milk or great in espresso. It just really works across the brew methods. And I know that it works here. So I made a Kalita. Um, yeah. Boom. Body. Big chunks of funk again. But clean. It's deliciously clean. It really is like smooth and you get the delicacies. The fruit is not fermented fruit. It's not bruised fruit as some naturals can be. It's sharp, clean, fresh fruit. It, it's a confused coffee. It tastes like somebody's taken some washed and taken some natural and mixed them together. And, and, and I know they haven't, but it, it's just weird. So we should move on to the pin board of doom. Um, I have to get my bit of paper. This was very, very kindly sent to me by Julian, Julian Beach. And this was taken from Fion, Fionn Port, which is Mull, looking over Lona. Um, and a uh, very beautiful picture, very, very envious. That looks like a beautiful place to be drinking coffee. Thank you very, very much for that. Um, and that's it, I'm done. I'm getting out of here because I've got another one of these to record before I go. Um, so thank you very much for joining me, as always. Wish me luck in Australia. Um, yeah, it's a long way to fly, that's for sure. And do remember, life is too short for bad coffee.